Learning target 2.15, I can define a polymer and a subunit. All right, so we just need to define them. Great, a polymer is a large molecule consisting of a chain of monomers or subunits. Okay. Um, key, some key little bits here is that it usually contains carbon. And it's covalently bonded. Polymers are super cool because we're heading into organic chemistry, we're heading into biochemistry, and this is where you can make those hundreds of thousands of different molecules because you can make a chain of them. Okay, So let me show you what that looks like. So subunits are monomers, mono meaning one, poly meaning many, Okay, so these subunits, these monomers, build up your polymers. So here's my monomers. Look how they're small. Look how there's one of them. And, ah uh, yes. They get bonded together. All my little dots. This is my polymer. Right. Monomers or the subunits are going to come together through polymerization and turn into polymers. One large molecule, many small molecules. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a sample question that involves this learning target. Repetitive combinations of simple subunits are called blank. Key here is repetitive. Oops, key, right. Simple subunits, this is also key. All right, so we know subunits, we should be thinking this has to do with organic chemistry, this probably has to do with polymers, okay? So, oh look, right there. A repetitive combination of simple subunits are called polymers. So your subunits are gonna look exactly the same, they're just all linked together, okay? Um, just to go over some of these terms, organic means contains carbon, Right, inorganic means does not contain carbon in, right, ineffective, not effective, doesn't have carbon, right. Polyesters are actually a type of polymer, right, that contains something called an ester, right. So polyesters, you have them in your clothes, like here, right. It's a long chain and polymers tend to be really stretchy. It's nice because they're a large molecule. Okay. So polymers are the key, the simple, not the simple, eh, yeah, the simple. They're the key, it's the combination, right? And then there's a ton of different polymers that come out of it, but polymers is the umbrella term for any large molecule that contains a chain of monomers.